Let's talk about something rather easy to spot and fix. A comma splice. What is a comma splice? When a comma is used to separate two independent clauses, it's a comma splice. Take the following sentences, for example. I really like you. I'd like to invite you to dinner. He's a great policeman. Just look at all the crimes he's helped solve. Farming is hard work. You should know that. We've researched it. It'll never work. Andy ran as fast as he could. He was determined to catch that butterfly. How do you know that they are comma splices? You can know them by splitting them in two. If one clause depends on the other, it is not a comma splice. For example, because I really like you, I'd like to invite you to dinner. Because I really like you, cannot stand alone. I'd like to invite you to dinner, can stand alone. Therefore, this is not a comma splice, and a comma is appropriate here. However, if both are able to act as independent sentences by themselves, then you have a comma splice. I really like you. Comma. I'd like to invite you to dinner. Can be cut in two. I really like you. Can stand alone. I'd like to invite you to dinner. Can stand alone. Therefore, a comma splice. How do you fix it? There are two ways to fix the comma splice, with a semicolon or a period. Caution. Use the semicolon with careful consideration. The semicolon is used when two sentences are closely related. However, overusing the semicolon tends to stand out and may develop into a visible pattern that draws the reader out of the story. As such, semicolons should be used sparingly. The best solution is using a period. We highly recommend utilizing the period. Many believe that a period is a hard stop and that a comma is a pause. That is not the case. A period does not indicate a long stop. Narration and dialogue can be spoken smoothly with a period. I really like you. Period. I'd like to invite you to dinner. Correct. Quiz. Which of these has a comma splice? Answer. A.